What is good, everybody? We present to you a Rome production. So today we're going to be doing a review over a particular video that I saw in somebody's story and I figure I make two versions of this. I'm going to make a version on my podcast concerning this topic and I'm also going to make a video which you are watching right now on YouTube concerning the very topic of hell, the afterlife, spirituality, talking about God, the Bible, all that good stuff, right? And I'm going to make this video as short as it as short as possible. Stop the cap. But my podcast is going to be a, a bit longer because I want to get into the deeper aspects on my podcast. And I'm going to link the podcast, my podcast, uh, my Spotify podcast in the description box below. But um, let's get into it. Like, bro, it's bro, like I'm probably it probably going to traumatize me for the rest of my life, bro. I'm real dead laying on my deathbed. Uh, nobody's like, man, bro, I was so scared, bro, I'm real deal face to face with the devil himself, the devil, bro, and he ain't like, it ain't none of that, uh, how my, how would, like, he don't, like, he's a real human being, like, I'm real deal, the, de the devil calling me his son, bro, the, 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 the stuff that I seen, bro, like, Hey, it's it's real, bro. It's everything in the, in the Bible. Bible, everything that I Bible. seen, bro, was in the Bible. It was unfolding. Like I, as I'm in hell, bro, I see people in the fire crying, clean, like asking for forgiveness, bro. And it was too late. And it was, it was too, late. too late for them. This is not a lie. I don't like know that. nothing. I don't. I don't read the yeah, Bible. Don't read I don't the know Bible nothing about anything. that, bro. Like, but on like as I, he stand with me, like, and he's gonna stand a fire. Like he was as he was as he was in the uh. As he was uh, talking to me, he was kicking people into the fire and laughing like, like, he's such a, like, and then his voice is beautiful, like, it's not what people tell y'all, like, the devil is, like, I'm literally sitting face to face with the devil. Again, like, after my second, then again, after my, uh, my, like, my body left my soul again for the second time, and then, and as the second time, that's when I saw, uh, four horsemen. And like that was in different countries. Like the first one, he was in uh the horseman. He was in what I say? You told me London. Yeah, London. London. The other one was in Russia. Bro, like uncle, bro, uncle, like bro, I'm not lying. Read I'm really face to face with the devil, bro. Like I died twice. I died yeah. twice, bro. I'm in hell. And I and I seen heaven, 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 and hell. Like it's it's no up and down, bro. It's <laughs> uh, it's all up. Literally, it's all up. Now Joshua Deshaun is the particular boy that died twice and basically came back from the dead. In these particular events, he met the devil. Now where you can watch the full video, I will have that linked in the description box below where you can watch the full video. Uh, but I just wanted to show you the certain aspects of this particular video. Uh, just so that you can get an idea of what I'm going to be talking about in this video. So, first and foremost, right? My sources for the information that I'm about to bring to you, I'm going to be getting some information from the African Woman, the Original Guardian Angel by Dr. Barashango, Christianity Before Christ by Dr. John G. Jackson, um, the Africans who wrote the Bible, cannot say this man's uh, name, uh, but the Africans who wrote the Bible, great book, and last but not least, we are going to have... God, man, the world, uh, the word made flesh. Now I have uh, two PDF books that I've uh, thoroughly read. One called Bible of the Adversary and one called Pacts with the Devil. Those are also two great, very, I'm talking about these are magnificent books. Um, these are great books as well, but the Bible of the Adversary and Pacts with the Devil, those are two great magnificent books. Uh, really goes into depth on Christianity and, and, and a lot of the mythologies in which we were brought up to believe. And they share a lot of correlations together. It's just, a, it's just a very great book. You can get those PDFs on my Patreon as well if you're a Patreon. Nonetheless, what this man here, Joshua Deshaun, mentioned is that this man went to hell. He mentions that he saw the devil face to face. And the devil does not look like 
a man with horns. He's not red. He doesn't have a pitchfork. And the devil is not somebody who is red all over and, and looks like this particular creature. He said that the devil looks like you and me. I find that very interesting. I had to write that down. Something that he also mentioned is that there were people in hell. And the people in hell were suffering and tortured in this hell fire, in this lake of fire. And as he was being in hell, he said that the devil called him his son. Now, visions, dreams, whatever you want to call it, all of this can be interpreted in many different ways. But for the sake of time, we are just going to go by what this man particularly said in this video. So, when we are dealing with the whole topic behind hell, I'm seeing all these black Christians in the comment section talking about, oh, I know God is real. Uh, if that's what it took for, for him to get right with God, it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's, it's, it's crazy to me that you have a lot of black people that still believe in this buffoonery. And no disrespect to my family, no disrespect to the black people who follow me personally that still contribute their life to Christianity um, or particular perceptions or denominations around the Bible, uh, such as being a Catholic or an Anglican, Methodist. But when it comes to Christianity, I have came to the understanding that we are dealing with mythology. We are not dealing with actual events. We're, we're dealing with spirituality, no doubt, in, in metaphysics, but we are also dealing with mythology. We are dealing with allegories and illustrations and dark, uh, dark sayings that are being contributed to us. You know, and it is through these dark sayings that we are able to uh, get a level of deep knowledge and information and wisdom. So something that we need to keep in mind is that because we are dealing with mythology, all of these characters are just reflections of us. Everybody from God to the devil. Everybody from Jesus to Lucifer. Daniel, Ezekiel, Jeremiah, you know, Moses, Abraham, David, for the women, Bathsheba, Delilah, the strange woman, the wise woman, Esther, Ruth. The list goes on. Mother Mary, Mary Madeline, Elizabeth, the list goes on. So when you get to the understanding of all the characteristics of the Bible and you gain a some sort of a fundamental understanding of the the message that Jesus has given to his disciples and to the people in his particular area where he is telling people repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. And he tells the Pharisees that the, the kingdom of God is not something that's to come. It's not something to be observed with man's hands. It's something that is within. He tells his disciples that the light of the body is the eye, the third eye. When you see the story of Jacob and the angel fighting, they fought on the land of Pineal. Talking about your Pineal gland. When Jesus was crucified, he was crucified at the place called Golgotha, or Golgotha. This is called the place of skulls. Christ was crucified in your mind. Let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus. All of this are events that happen within as without, as above, so below. You also see as above, so below. When Jesus teaches his disciples how to pray, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. As, ab as above, so below, as below, so above. So you see these principles here. You see, you see them as clear as day. The principles that you are supposed to be getting from these teachings, from these stories. These are allegories within an allegory. Get back on topic to his situation concerning hell. First, let's understand that hell is not a real place. Hell does not exist. Hell was a created 
formality. Hell is not even in the Bible. Some people are like, yes it is. No it's not. The things that we reference as hell in the Bible are mistranslated. When they're talking about, when, when Jesus is talking about you're going to suffer damnation and, and fire and hell and brimstone, he's not talking about hell. No. He's talking about something completely different from hell. Even in the Old Testament, there's not one reference of hell in the Old Testament. Not one. There is not one reference of hell in the Old Testament. Why? There's a reference of Sheol, if I said that right, Sheol, Sheol, which is talking about the underworld sort of thing for the Jews. But no reference of hell. There is not one reference of hell in the Old Testament. So if there's no reference of hell in the Old Testament, what in the hell makes you think that there is a hell in the New Testament? Think about that. So when it talks about in the end times where the people whose name aren't written in the Lamb's Book of Life enter into the lake of fire, you know what I'm saying, all this other type of stuff, understand that all of this is allegory. <laughs> and I don't have time to explain this in this video of what these particular perceptions mean, but you don't have to take my word for it as well either. Do your research. Do your research, please. With all of that being said, people will say, well, how can you say that he didn't go to hell and he's the one that said he did go to hell? Well, that's a good question. Something that we have to keep in mind and understand is that most of the things that we see visually or things that we have visions of or when we have out of body experiences, there's a lot of things that happen that we can't interpret valid. So, because of the things that we were brought up to believe, the things that we see in our visions, we think, oh, God is trying to tell us something. Jesus is trying to tell me something. When it could be something so much bigger than, than God and Jesus in the Bible. Now, he said that he went to hell and that he saw the devil and he saw his wings and so on and so forth. But mind you, as something that I said in, in some of my videos way back before, is that what you see in the afterlife or what you see in your visions or, or what you see in terms of your dreams these things happen because of your subconscious It's no different than if a, a, a Buddhist or somebody who's raised up in, in, in the Hindu type of world was to have some type of near-death experience and he was to see Brahma and, and Shiva and Shakti and Kali it's no different is no different. So, I don't want to make this video any longer than it already is. Like I said, I will have a podcast concerning this very topic at hand, where we will get into deeper aspects concerning this very topic at hand. When we are dealing with the concept of hell, and I know I might get a lot of backlash, I don't know, we're going to see what it looks like in the comment section, but understand this, there is no concept of hell. Hell is is the condition of the mind no different than heaven when you when I was just talking about as above so below in the Bible when it talks about heaven and earth you know what I'm saying heaven and earth is the mind and the body earth represents the physical heaven represents the spiritual and and when dealing with heaven you're also dealing with the head even having a good head on your shoulders if you ever heard that before so heaven doesn't just represent the spiritual it also could represent you having a good head on your shoulders having that renewed mind because it always talks about be not conformed to the world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind and I'm going to just end off with that until next time I'm Tyrone thank you for watching this video um, if you have any questions concerning the things that I had to say if you wanted me uh, to deal with more topics in, in videos and questions concerning this very topic at hand or whatever the case is let all your comments and thoughts be shared in the comment section below. Until next time, I'm Tyrone. Thank you for watching this video. Like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and share this video with other people. Until next time, I'm Tyrone, and I am out.